Good morning. Welcome to Night Vision. I'm Alex Petty. Student Council has started a new tradition at Clear Falls, Teacher of the Month, where students can cast their votes during lunches. The first Teacher of the Month, Social Studies teacher, Mr. Todd Parsons. I went to his classroom to see what makes him so popular with students. Hi, how's it going? Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Appreciate it. Doing a good job. As Todd Parsons greets his second period class, students are wondering what kind of lesson they are in for. So we're going to zoom it down. What if that world, that 7 billion, went down to 100 people? And we had a village of 100 people that represents the entire planet. So I'm going to show you guys something kind of cool. He teaches his students with engaging in meaningful activities, right keeping now, students motivated. This. Parsons right, explains. Now, so I just want you guys to kind of take it in. Uh, yes, I, I, ha I have energy and I'm crazy sometimes, but if I'm going to have to do something all day long, I want to enjoy it. Now this is breaking, that's, a, that's an interesting looking zebra, I must admit. So uh, I've always tried to be that one, you know, oasis or hopefully part of many oasis. I mean, that's, that's the beauty of Clear Falls is <laughs> we've built an incredible team here. And really a, a lot of people go and they're like, oh, you know, you're one of my favorite teachers. I love hearing that. I mean, I want to at least be, if they've had, never had a teacher that they've loved, I hope that they love this class. And I hope that they realize I respect them and care for them and want to teach them. Um, but I love hearing you're one of my favorite teachers. Because that means they've got a lot of great teachers, and we do. And so that's, that's very encouraging. <laughs> we have light right now. Yeah! Mr. Parsons has been a teacher in CCISD for five years. He taught at Clearview before Falls opened. On October 4th, the CFH's child guidance classes will begin leading a new program called Camelot Kids at Mossman Elementary. Ms. Debbie Bacon's students are preparing to teach a preschool class of children from the community ages 3 to 5. Charlie Herring went to see what they are doing to prepare for their very first class. You're teaching the third week. Ms. Bacon helps her Child Guidance 1 students prepare for the day they become teachers for the Camelot Kids preschoolers. James Rodriguez says they'll be teaching students a little of everything. So in the classroom, we don't teach little preschool kids, little 3, 4-year-olds, how to they into a kindergarten, teach them reading skills, math skills, and language, and how to cooperate with other kids. The soon-to-be student teachers seem ready to face the challenges of working with the little kids. I think it will be difficult. It's not yet, because they haven't got here yet, but I think it will be, like, for the most part at first, but I think we'll get used to it. It'll be easy. Yeah, I agree. I think there's going to be moments that it's going to be a little challenging. You like know, the first day and they're going to be like crying and stuff. Yeah, because they're they've never been away from their parents. So, I mean, I think it'll be difficult. There's going to be a few challenges, but for the most part, we enjoy kids. So, I I think it'll be I think it'll be easy. A few challenges, but overall, easy. <laughs> we're not done. Some bling to it. We need a bling, bling. The preschool class is located in Mossman Elementary and looks like any preschool you would see anywhere else. This Thursday, the 21 Child Guidance student teachers will hold an open house where they will have the chance to meet the parents of the 16 Camelot kids. We will be following the progress up to opening day. Stay tuned to Night Vision for more on this story. The Clear Falls volleyball team is younger and less experienced than the other varsity teams they play and win against, by the way. They're part of a district with some big playoff contenders like Friendswood, Dawson, and Santa Fe. But if you look at their winning record, the Knights teams are overcoming the odds one match after another. Part of their big success might be their impressive conditioning. Coach Lindsey Hodges takes us through one grueling practice. And while you're watching, think about what you're doing every day during sixth period. Okay, we're going to time you. See how long it takes you to get three times around. Right now they're doing rapid fire run throughs and it's for conditioning. Um, it's Wednesday, we don't have a tournament, we don't have a game tomorrow, so today's the best day for conditioning, intense conditioning. But it's also a ball control drill. Um, they have to control it back to their partner on the net and then sprint to the next one. Get the passes up to target! Touch every line! The clock is for competition because they need to learn to compete and be competitive. Um, so right now they're competing against JV's time um, and trying to beat it. Um, and they're getting more and more tired. They have to go three times around and each lap it gets more and more tiresome and they have to stay focused. Stay low. Building a program, that's typically the hardest thing to do, especially with young athletes, is the, that fire to compete and wanting to beat someone um, and it not be a negative thing. Um, them being tired, if they get into the, for JV, if they get into the third game 
or for varsity the fifth game of a match and that's the determining game and they're exhausted because they've been playing for an hour, hour and a half, two hours, they've got to be able to push through it and still have good still at, that's going to target, that's able to play the ball. Um, so it, it translates and, and they know it, they, they remember it when they get into that. When we played Santa Fe and had that fifth game, they're like, yep, that's why we do it. I get it, I got it. Bend your knees, Lemon! They don't Bend like it. You can tell on their faces they don't like this, but when they get that win against a tough opponent in a long match, they get it. Claire, stop it. Okay, get the ball. Let's do run-throughs. Coach Hodges says one of the things she's most proud of is how the girls play as one family, motivating and cheering each other on. The volleyball team is sponsoring the Clear Falls Dig Pink Fun Run and Walk. The goal is to raise $5,000 for the Side Out Foundation. The event begins and ends at Falls on Saturday, October 1st. Early registration begins this Wednesday. For more information, call 281 291 0193 or see Coach Hodges. Thanks for joining us today for Night Vision. On behalf of Charlie Heron and the rest of the Night Vision team, I'm Alex Petty and it's a great day to be a Knight.